Question 1265. If you had a single spare vaccine after giving yourself one and your loved ones to prevent all diseases, would you give it to an anti-vaxxer if they asked for it? No, fuck them. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. fuck them. They wouldn't take it anyway. I mean, they... that's exactly how I was going to word it too. It's like, no, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> are they are they are they still an axi vaxxer? Like, why would they ask for it if they're an anti? Yeah, I, I want to get into I, what you're thinking on the question would, here. Yeah, well, I would just say. So why are they asking you for a vaccine if they're an anti vaxxer? Well, this I, is the interesting I would suspect question. it's to I would suspect it's to destroy it. But unless it was like an anti vaxxer I knew and they knew they I knew they wanted to use it for themselves, <laughs> then like they change their if it. they change their mind, I guess I would give it to them. Um, yeah. But probably not because they fucking hindered the production of the vaccine for forever. So fuck them. Like, yeah. Just just for having yeah. been anti-vax for ten years, like you know, fuck you. I'd rather give it to someone who's been like a scientist who's been working on the vaccine than someone who who well, uh, didn't okay. bother to learn about it. Anti-vaxxers, like, like a lot of lot of a lot of things, though they 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 fall into the two categories of the ones who were doing the deceiving and the ones who were being deceived. Mm. But I do have a, a real disdain for anti-vaxxers. Serious disdain. Um, yeah. uh, especially, uh, especially as people know me, I, there's certain vaccines I can't have at the moment because I'm on immunosuppressant. So, there, you know, there's some, there's some vaccines I, I'm not, I can't have. Um, so, you know, you, well, you, so I've got to rely on the herd immunity for certain things. And these fucking, these fucking <clears throat> assholes are affecting that. Yes. Uh, oddly enough, oh, uh, sarcastic me. barman yeah. said, and I've just completely lost it. Fuck no, that's a waste. I'd give it to a laboratory. Yeah, laboratory? Okay, I mean, if you're giving the object, an anti-vaxxer versus whom? So if it's, what? What? If it's an, an anti-vaxxer versus throwing it in the trash, I mean, yeah, I'd give it to him. But well, it's, I think it's 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 a game. <laughs> yeah, someone yeah. else coming along in 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 a few weeks' time and potentially asking you for it. I think it, there, there I think it, it's a safe bet that you're going to bump into someone who isn't an anti-vax fucking moron um, in, in in the time who mm. wants it and might appreciate it a bit more. Mm. So I wouldn't give it to an anti-vaxer because they're not critical thinkers and they don't bother to do their research, and that person could potentially be harming the rest of the world. So I, mean, I, I would rather give it to someone who's been correct like their whole life on the situation. It sounds like two sex. It sounds like in this scenario, we're we're in an apocalypse sort of scenario. I can't think of any other scenario where we're right. And here's the thing: how do we know that the reason that the rest of the population has died out is not because of fucking anti-vaxxers? Um, well, then they then they deserve to fucking die. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. So in that situation, you basically. Beg the question that they yeah, fuck them. And I, I love the fact as well you said about the world. And I, I love the fact I love the fact, Chris, you said there about they don't do their research. Yet yeah, those those three words there, do your <laughs> those three or four words, do your own research is their yeah. fucking mating call because yes. they've watched a few videos on YouTube. Oh, I know. I, I know. love it when people try to flex on research. But yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'll, be, I'll, be back in, I'll be back in two secs because you can tell this is a topic I can go for a massive rant about. Yeah. I can fucking despise these people. Uh, I... Two secs, do we catch them on the chat? Right, so, uh, Dave, Fish. are you saying that the only there's I'm like in a situation where I have one vaccine in my hand and the only person who wants it is an anti vaxxer? The only person that's there right now is an anti vaxxer. Just a second. I would, okay, I'm going to make an argument here. Wait. I'm going to say give it to the anti vaxxer and hear me out. Epidemiologically speaking, getting a vaccine into somebody earlier is going to have a better effect on the population than getting it into them later. So if the hypothetical is I have to hold on to it and wait for somebody else, it's better mathematically for me to give it to that person now, especially given the fact that these researchers are the kind of people that like to go out and touch things in the food markets. So <laughs> yeah. I, I there's think... a chance that they'll say it didn't work, even because they never got sick. Okay. That's the logic. That's the logic. <laughs> right. Ox says, nope, they pick their path, let them walk it, no pity for stupidity. Catnip, them know their kids, maybe. Uh, the Lone Wanderer says, but people change their minds. Gandhiri <coughs> says, I'll force it on them. 
<laughs> well, I'm kind of there too, like drink guns at this point, right? I'll give it to them if they want it or not. <laughs> just give me a dark gun. Just well, I, hold I'm, them just, down. I, I'm just confused. I'm like, how much longer would it take for some for a like a scientist to ask me for the vaccine? Like five minutes, or are they talking about like well, five? Well, this is why I th- how many, I, I posted. How many scientists do you hang out with? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, none. <laughs> well, it might, might take a while. No, everybody in my life is, I, I don't know any anti-vaxxers at all. Uh, Harmonic Man says, if they asked for it, they're no longer an anti-vaxxer. You're assuming they're going to use it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I would think you, you should allow someone to change their mind. I think well, that's... You should give it to them so that they can put it under a microscope to find the microchips. You should give it to them so that they don't find the microchips. <laughs> they just, they'll just believe that the equipment's not uh, powerful enough to find it. Well, they're convinced of something. That's what they done. Get rid of most of them. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll take a swath of them off. There's always going to be some level of crazy you can't do anything about. It, but. I think for me, the only important thing I want to say is if if this anti-vaxxer now is not an anti-vaxxer, yeah. I would maybe give it to them with the thought that they changed their mind. And now they have an open mind and they're learning. Yeah, but how do you know they're an anti-vaxxer? How, how do you know they're not an anti-vaxxer now? Oh. Well, why would well, they, okay, so it, well, if I don't know well, that, how do no I way... know that they're an anti-vaxxer in the first place? Though, did they just like walk up to me and say, "Hey, I'm an anti-vaxxer. Can so I have that?" They, they have now? a tendency to be quite vocal. Yeah, I'd say they were prominent anti-vaxxer. We could go with they, they were a prominent anti-vaxxer. I'm sure Jeff could mention one. So no, I would just say no. I'm, I'm done. No, no, no. No, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just use it. I'll use it on my. I'll use it on myself after the the first vaccine doesn't work. And I need to <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it twice to make sure it works. Our monarch of answers, no fuck... Uh, I've got to get the language right here. No fuck them delusional turd lickers. Uh, <laughs> Trud Drug says, yes, because as stupid as anti-vaxxers are, they can still spread disease affecting those who cannot yeah. take vaccines like Jeff. So there is a... Th- okay, there is a third option here. Assuming this is the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. You could not give them the vaccine and kill them. Sweet. <laughs> Murder all the way. Let's do it. I know where some pig farms are. <laughs> That's not serious. Kill the poor. Say again? Kill the poor. <laughs> kill the poor. Have you tried to kill the poor? You you going to, have you put it in the computer? You're going to offer... You're going to offer me the option of murder, and then you're going to be all like, ha ha, no, no murder. That's not nice. <laughs> Don't tease a bitch. Don't tease. Uh, Stop being a tease. Never again would, also, would give it, but would also mutter about hypocrisy while giving it to them. <laughs> IQ says, yes, you give it to the most prolific, influential anti-vaxxer with the chance that it will change their mind and convince others. Yeah, but they're just as likely they could take it, ooh, and then turn around and say, um... Hey, look, I'm never ill. No, 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 at worst, they could turn around and say, oh, I'm terrible. I've got this cough, I never had this cough before the vaccine. See, my thing is, my thing is, like, the moment I give it to them, like, two weeks later, they'll probably die of, like, a heart attack, and they're like, oh, no, vaccines cause heart attack, ah... Uh, junk says yeah, nowhere in the question. <clears throat> nowhere in the does it mention apocalypse. The problem is I can't imagine any scenario where I would have the last vaccine of something, and I would be in a position to give it to someone other than an apocalypse. Ricardo says so. Anti-vaxxers are no longer deserving of empathy. No, they are but you're, you're trusting. No, they are. They. No, they, I. Have, I think everybody deserves empathy because you need to understand that people who are religious or don't know about science they just didn't learn it like it's how they're brought up um it's it's i i will always give someone like 10 chances to change their life one thing i can tell you as a teacher is that common sense is not common i mean there's no, no, no such, such thing, thing as, <laughs> there's no such thing as unique because unique uh, common experiences in everybody but even if you put two people in the same room and give them the same experience they take away two different things so you can never assume somebody understands something the way you do. So yeah. if you don't know at least three ways of explaining something, you don't understand it well enough. <laughs> uh, Watchtower Watcher says, I would make them have to solve a series of puzzles each more devious than the last to find it. <laughs> would you also uh, laugh like maniacally while you're doing it the entire time? Please tell me you will. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Something like that. You have to laugh maniacally the entire time, or at least at least intermittently between it. Like when they're like, "When's my next test?" It's like, Mwah. I can't do that. I cannot do a maniacal laugh. I'm sorry." <laughs> insert yes. Insert that laugh and then tell them. <clears throat> I feel like I, I I would be the asshole that would set up a series of complex traps for someone to find find a vaccine in an apocalypse. 
Because like, my giggle is not doesn't have the same effect. Uh, oh, with it. There are people who choose not to vaccinate who are not anti-vaxxer. A vaccine is meds, and I should have the choice as to whether to put the meds in my body. Right. That is a choice, and not being anti-vaccine. Mm, okay. Yes and no. There is definitely but that an is... argument there. But from a public health perspective, that's like saying you should have the um, right to not have roads. Right. Or, you, or the right to not a... have yeah. You said a you said a prominent anti vaxxer if I had a choice. Yeah. Uh let's uh take I'll just say one then. Andrew <coughs> Wakefield. Um is he getting he... the vaccine? No, yes. he can fuck off. Right Absolutely. in the eye. Right, right in the eye. In That's right fucking good for him. Um because <laughs> that asshole started all this shit and he knows better. He oh, knows yeah, he knows better. better. Yes, he does, he's, but he's a, he's a doctor, you know, he started this bullshit. And it's what people don't don't seem to forget about that. It's one of the reasons he was struck off, not just because it's it how badly his experimentation went with it, but he had a fine financial interest in a company that was rivaling, making a rival product to the MMR vaccine. Yes, uh -huh. the bloke's a hypocrite. And he's got since he's been struck off, he's gone around preaching anti-vax for the last like yeah. twenty-five years. So if it's him, no, nah, fuck off, let him actual... fuck off. He can die. Uh, Jenny says the needs of the many outweighs the needs of the one. We are in a society where not an individual bubbles. We depend on each other for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That sounds very American. Yes. Um, America. Yeah. Fuck yeah. America. <laughs> uh, wait, aren't there loads of vaccines into, in jet planes spraying it in the clouds? So everyone would be fine. Uh, okay, I changed my answer. My, my answer is yes, right in the eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ox says if they take the vaccine they aren't an anti-vaxxer anymore there's no guarantee they're going to take the vaccine uh, and Chris says it's important to let people learn and change their mind junk shop's shouting at me <laughs> that's that's oh yeah buttons. I wouldn't I wouldn't give it to an anti-vaxxer so I just wouldn't but, um, I that's what's so empathy. insidious about this <laughs> unfortunately that's what is so fucking insidious about these people though it's most of them who are out there shouting this off are people who have been vaccinated but they're not getting their blooming kids vaccinated nope that's, but no, there's also a lot of them that have multiple videos. kids. Like, their older kids are vaccinated, but the younger ones aren't. Yeah. And for some odd reason, they insist that their older kids are just sick and unwell and not normal while their, like, vaccinated kid is, like, the golden child. Yeah. Yandere says, make it like Saw. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brainberg said, these people are vi victims of their own deficiencies <clears throat> and manipulated yes. by people they think they can trust. I, that, I agree with them. I agree with Brainberg. People. Mm. As as I said earlier, it's a difference between the ones who are being deceived and the ones who are doing the deceiving. Now I can have some empathy with those who are being deceived. I still would like them to listen to fucking reason, but um, but the ones who are actively doing the deceiving, who who a lot of them fucking know better. No, no they like, fuck off. And they're stupid. I know you that those are the same people though, because you, you can't know. because you can't be. You can't hold on to a bad idea without defending the bad idea. I mean, especially when somebody confronts you with it. So I say, yes, you can, but not with conf confrontation. Well, but the problem is the human mind tends to go yeah. to defending the. It doesn't even. Try, it doesn't Perfect. very often doesn't even try and engage with defending the idea. It, yeah. It, 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 it just tries to defend the tribe that is mm -hmm. associated with the idea. If that kind of makes sense, you, you kind of shut off. Your brain shuts off. It's, well, exactly. it's, it's one of those things. I mean, I, I, I do not honestly. It, it's it's one of those things people don't like. I mean, I don't honestly engage um, people that call themselves pro life. Yeah. yeah. When I engage them, I in no way particularly consider their arguments because I think they're bullshit. I I I, I didn't. I never used to engage these people until this year when they tried to use pro choice arguments against fucking isolating for COVID. Be pro life or pro choice. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. You know, um, yeah, no, they, they, they do the pro choice thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Our, our, yeah. our choice, yeah. our, our choice yeah. to, you know, my, my body, body, body choice to go to fucking church or, or, what, or whatever the fuck it is, whatever bloody Trump rallies or whatever the fuck mm. it is. I don't and, engage them, oh, but I have to deal no, no, with a no, bunch I, of them. Okay, I, I, I don't want to particularly go down that route. I was trying to make a point yeah. about the fact that I don't, I, I know. I don't think. I don't consider their arguments. 
Okay, Fair. because I've been through their arguments. I, I have taken them apart. So when I'm actually engaging with them, I am not considering their arguments. I am just trying to throw back things that counter them. But, but the thing, I mean, this the thing is, anti-vax has already had a really, you know, it's had a really, really bad effect. I mean, there's no way in this in in the Western world, especially like America, Britain, Canada, wherever it may be. I don't know about. I've got to be okay. I'll just say Canada. I don't know about Canada, but certainly in the US and in Britain. We've had outbreaks of measles we shouldn't be fucking getting because of these people. Yes. Oh, and and polio should be gone. I mean, it's Mm. one of those things. We were looking at 20 years ago, we were looking at polio literally being wiped out on this planet. Like I was, I was brought up being told that polio didn't really exist anymore. There were only a couple of cases. It was down. It was down to negligible numbers, and we and we and we were people like the Bill Gates Foundation and, and other charities were were spending a fortune getting the vaccines into those into those areas, and then all of a sudden, religious dickheads started saying right. that yeah. they were using it to stabilize. So, oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna. I'm just gonna push back on something Theo said in the chat there about bodily autonomy is bodily autonomy. You know whether it's pregnancy or forced vaccines. The problem is when it's coming to anti-vaccine. So it's not just their bodies that they that is they put at risk. It's generally their children's bodies. They're, sorry, their children have a fucking right to. I don't know. Not well, get no. fucking measles. A lot of know? a lot of people think that children are. People think that minors, like children or people under the age of, like, in the United States, 18, they think they're property. Like, they can do with a child what they want. That child is yeah. theirs. They have complete say over what that child does and does not get, does and does not do. <clears throat> right. That's the problem. I, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have no issue if they were just fucking them with their own, themselves up. I'd have no... Yeah. I'd let them, let them fucking... But they're fucking other people up. That's my problem with them. Um, the problem is, okay, I'm going to say one thing on the vaccine things before I, but before I go back to the original question rather than the discussion, and that is that I have no problem, I, had, I don't agree with forcing a vaccine on someone, but I think it is perfectly reasonable to exclude someone from any sort of shared societal resource if they don't have it, which is, has the effect of forcing them to it. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't see you, for, for example, sending your kids to public school. That would be fine if it was enforceable. That's just that is... impossible in any possible world. Like it's just how is it not enforceable? You give someone a vaccine <clears throat> when they if they don't have a vaccine certificate when they attend school, they're not allowed into school. But which schools? Private schools, public schools? Then you're talking about going to public parks, and you're getting into a situation. It's it's, it's kind of an all or nothing it's thing. Terror. This is one of the reasons why um, going back to the vaccine thing and you guys were talking about polio in terms of eradicating things in terms of covid we were done here in the maritimes since like june we didn't have cases every case we had was something imported from outside the borders so we're kind of getting the whole thing we're like well just kind of get your shit together people like we're kind of so it's very much the same sort of thing as the polio um and i can't remember where i was going with that one but anyway right it's okay. We'll get back to the thingy because we'll get back to the chat. Uh, Chris Cripple. Uh, Jenny says, Bing. Uh, of course, our better angel says that the compassion in our hearts must guide us to give the anti-vaxxer the vaccine. Do not judge not lest you be judged. Ah, I don't know this thing. Uh, Lone Wonder says, we need to change the subject because everyone is triggered. I completely agree. We're meant to be on the specifics of giving the damn anti-vaxxer the vaccine. Um, I'm skipping over the rest of that. <laughs> Well, Dave, I can give my answer real quick. I would not give it, and I would just wait for someone who has a proven track record of being a critical thinker and someone who, if I gave him the vaccine, I'd be 100% sure they'd be on board with, like, the future of science and stuff. If I gave it to someone with the track record of being an anti-vaxxer, I'd... uh, I don't know. It's questionable. I wouldn't know if if, if they're going to use it for nefarious purposes or not. I w- my, my answer is I would be looking for someone on similar similar uh, li- lines to that. But I'd also be looking for someone who might have the ability to take that one thing and produce more of it. 
Yeah, like give it to yeah, us, that like was, a scientist. Um, what you want, that's yeah, what someone you want, said you they want. would give it to like a research lab or something well, earlier. Mm. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, exactly. <clears> but <throat> giving it giving it to an anti-vaxxer, as you can tell, I know I should have more empathy from them, but I don't. I'm sorry. They can fuck off. If this is the apocalypse, where are you going to catch COVID from? There's nobody else around if it's that hard to find somebody. Oh, this isn't. This question is not actually about COVID. It says a vaccine to uh, prevent all everything. Well, no, but in, in same idea, right? Like, where are you going to find somebody? It's <laughs> anyways. True. All right, right, I'm done talking about this. That's yes. Yeah. Seraphim, would you give them, uh, Seraphim, would you give them the vaccine? One word answer. No. Sam. If Sam didn't run away. Sam's muted. Oh, sorry, I'm still muted. Um, no, I would not give them the vaccine unless they were like pretty much the only person left on the planet. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, oh, <laughs> Lone Wanderer is quickly triggered. Uh, I'm triggered. How can you say anti-vaxxers are not critical thinkers because they have an unpopular opinion? Because their opinion is demonstrably wrong. Yeah, yes. I think it's the demonstrably like not, not, wrong bit. Like 95% of the time, their opinion's wrong. Um... um, um <clears throat> I'm just saying most people who are anti-vaxxers are also incorrect on a lot of other scientific scientific and it's not an a, And it's not an unpopular opinion. It's just wrong. It's it's an opinion. Yeah, opinion gives right like the, the thing like it's, it could or could not be correct. I suppose the issue here is, is she talking about the, whether, the fact that they are anti-vaxxers in terms of they don't like vaccines? Or is she talking about the fact that where we're talking about the science and the, 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 they think they don't like it because it's got mercury in it or things that well that's fine really that's fine so I, I guess to clarify my position specifically if if i had one vaccine i wouldn't give it to like the flat earther either because the <laughs> just because you need to because because you've been convinced the earth is flat you are not going to be a I scientist need... useful enough to to <laughs> to be worth saving you're, you're not a good critical thinker i'm not i'm not going to say in every single case but I guarantee most, you talk to most flat earthers, you're probably going to find out that they're anti vaxxers as well. Because mm. generally, generally, if they're into flat earth, they are into every goddamn ridiculous fucking conspiracy theory going. There That's is a lot of disturbing. Overlap, yeah. I find it very disturbing that, 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 that there are flat earthers that are not God believers. Because virtually all of them are. But every now and again, you get one that's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you, anyway. but you got, yeah. It doesn't have to be God, but it's people that are prone to conspiratorial thinking, though, Dave. More yeah, so, tend, than, they than tend to be led to. They tend to come from yeah. religion. They tend to be tend to be brought up in religion. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I got a friend who is, uh, he, he's gotten way worse since like this year, and I to the point where it's really tested the friendship. Now I've got to say he hasn't gone full on flat Earth yet, but he has gone down so many goddamn con. Conspiracy rabbit holes that he's really testing my, my friendship with him. It really is. Right. I know what you mean, though. If you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here, for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recruited least questions, click here.